<laughs> doing the post game press conference. I feel official. <laughs> What's it like playing in the, the bigger arena where you got fans on three levels and all four sides? Just what's it like being on the court when you're playing in that arena? It's kind of crazy to look out and see the fans all the way at the top. Um, and it's just packed. It kind of reminds me of when we play in the Final Four and for the National Championship. So getting to play with that many fans on that big of a stage, I think is good preparation for um, later on in the season. Maddie and uh, Lexi on Saturday said that they feel like your team thrives in that type of environment. What's your perspective, having now been through all types of these environments, What? how do you see the team reacting? Yeah, uh, I also think we're going to thrive. I think we live for those big moments, um, playing under the lights, and we, we really enjoy that, And especially when there's a bunch of fans. Um, so I think everyone's going to do a, a really good job this weekend. and. I think everyone's getting pretty excited about it. So, Declan, I know you're not from the state. What does the rivalry with Creighton kind of mean to you, or what have you learned about it since you've been here? Yeah, I remember as a freshman, I was like shocked. I was like, all these people are here for volleyball? Like, this is crazy. Um, just to see how much support volleyball has in this state um, and how strong of a fan base there is. I mean, I just think it's so cool that we can get, I think it's like, what, 14,000 at a volleyball match? I mean, that's unheard of. Um, it just shows how much support volleyball has in the state of Nebraska, which I think is really cool. What does that ex excitement for a match like this manifest itself? I mean, you say the teammates are getting excited for it. What is that? How do you see that, or what does that represent? Just talking about it, um, you can just feel the vibes a little different, the energy. Everyone's excited. I'm excited to get in the gym today and uh, get back to work, and you can just feel everyone's smiling, excited to head to Omaha. Yeah, I know Creighton's the media priority, but at the end of the week, Tyler's team, I mean, what did he do for your career? He changed it. Um, I owe a lot to Tyler, um, one of the greatest coaches I've ever had and someone I, I really look up to and respect tremendously. Um, I went through a huge setting change uh, his first year here, um, and he was a huge part of that, and I don't think I could have made the changes that I did um, without him. and. And I'm just super excited to see his team. I've watched them. Um, you can see Tyler's coaching style all over his team, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, but I'm excited to have him back in Lincoln for a game. When was the last time you talked to him? This morning, actually. Uh, we actually stay in contact, um, just text here and there uh, about different setting things, about uh, his team and stuff. Does it make you nervous that he knows your guys' strengths and weaknesses? Yeah. yeah. Especially like he, I, I don't like that he trained all of us setters, so he knows what we like to do um, very well, and he like trained the offense while he was here. So it'll be interesting to see what they do defensively against us. These six two things just deployed from office scouting report, then right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nick, how have you kind of adjusted to this? seemingly revolving role that you've been in so far this season? Yeah, um, I just kind of been open to do whatever the team needs me to do. Um, I've just tried to be really flexible and be the best teammate and friend I can be at the end of the day. If that means I'm supporting on the bench or setting or playing DS, just kind of being ready to adapt to a new role at any moment and um, just having a lot of fun with it. About how you want to go into coaching. How is this, do you think, going to prepare you for that? Yeah. Um, so I, I changed positions and I've kind of been going back and forth in roles. And if I ever have to ask a player to do the same thing, I've done it before. Um, and I can kind of share that experience with them. And I think it'll make me a better coach. I'm definitely seeing the different side of the passing. I haven't passed in a while. So to just see the court from a different perspective and um, I think I can give that knowledge to my future players. How much notice are you giving Nick when, when John decides he's going to use you in a certain way? Do you know the day of, day before? What's that uh, like? Usually the day of, yeah. Just kind of, hey, we're going to do this, and then kind of just hop into the new role. And what's your response when he sits down and tells you how? Because, I mean, you've played three different positions this year. So. Yeah. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> whatever you need me to do. Come to that mindset because obviously if you're a freshman or sophomore it's a little harder to make those adjustments yeah um 
I think with experience, I've been here for a while. Um, and coming back my la my fifth year, I knew it might be a little bit different and I'd kind of have to adjust here and there. Um, and I'm just kind of trying to have the most fun I can in this last season. It's my last one, can't believe it. Um, but I'm just, you know, trying to be the best I can for my team and just have a mindset of being ready to do anything to help us win. So you said that you're working on sets, Caitlin. And I was watching in warm-ups on, on Saturday, and some of those sets, like I could tell, like were where you wanted them to be. How do you start transitioning some of those into the into game and getting them consistent across all three of the setters? Yeah, um, Caitlin definitely touches very high, so um, it's definitely been a different ball than we've set in the past. Um, so just practicing, I think, just building that connection that um, we just started uh, last week. So just keep working on that and then execute it in the game time because she can be a huge threat for us offensively. You've seen her at Penn State. She's dangerous. So um, just hoping we can kind of put that more into our offense. What do you say about her that she's managed to convert some of these sets that maybe aren't perfect into kills so consistently? Yeah, uh, she's a baller. I don't know if you guys have seen some of the plays she's also made. Like, she, like, blocked a ball and then, like, turned around and played it. I don't know if we've seen a lot of middles be able to do that. Um, and she covers, like, a lot of balls, which um, – and she manages those low sets. So, she's been a baller for us and made really big plays even when it wasn't there for her. Since she came from one of your rival schools, I mean, how important was it for you being here so long to make her feel welcome this last few months? Yeah, um – we, we've really bonded over us being grandmas, we like to say. Um, and just I've wanted to help her along the way as much as I can. And I'm just glad she's on our side of the net and not their side anymore. Um, we, used to, we had our a whole defense just for her when we would play them. So it's awesome to have her on our side. And she's, she's been amazing and really she fits in with the team perfectly. All right. Thank you.